Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add chat to your projects. So in order to get started, you'll need to make sure that you have Firebase already configured for your project. Um, and we have other tutorial videos to show you how to do that that you can find in this channel. Um, so we'll see here we have our config files properly added. We've already set up authentication, so we have our login page and home page and then, of course, Firestore as well. So we've already defined our user's record and set up the create user record. So we want to add chat to, to this project. So what we'll do is we'll go here, create a new page, and first we'll add a chat page here. And what this will do is it'll automatically add the chats collection and chat messages collection to your Firestore project. Okay, Firestore. And you can see we've added chats and chat messages here. So going back, this is basically set up as is. You don't need to change it much. You can customize it as you'd like. And we'll have another video later showing some really nice um, customizations of this. And then what we can also have is a chat preview page. Um, just to show all your active chats. And again, you won't have to modify this too much here. This is a chat preview, and uh, you can customize this as well. But this will show all of your chats in order of the most recent ones. So you know we've filtered here the chats that you are in, and filtered by decrease in time. And that's really all there is to do here. Now, the only other steps are setting up Firestore. So if you go here to the Firestore tab, go into settings, and you'll see the Firestore rules here. So what we've done is we've automatically created security rules for you. And what this will do is make sure that you know only you can see the chats that you're in and of course, the, only the people inside of the chat can see the chat messages for that chat. And this is very important for security. So what we'll do here is we'll copy these rules. And in our Firestore project, we'll copy and paste them here. And publish. Now, one more important step we need to do is go to indexes. What indexes allow you to do is to order and filter your data. So for example, for the chats that you're in, you want to be able to check that you're in the chat and you also want to order them by the most recent ones first. Um, and same with chat messages. You need to make sure that the chat message is part of the chat that you're in and also that it's ordered so that the most recent ones show up at the bottom of the page. So for that, we need to create two indexes. Uh, so what we'll do is go here and go into chats. Um, that'll be the first one for the chats collection. Here we need to add users, and that's an array. So the chats collection has a users field, which is a list of the users that are in the chat, and you need to make sure that you are in the chat. So that's why this field in the index is necessary. Um, the other field is last message time, and we want to do that descending. So when we list the chats that we're in, we want to show the most recent ones first, and that's why we add this last message time here. And lastly, this is for a collection, uh, not a collection group, and we create index. Now we'll do the same for chat messages. So for this collection, chat messages, we'll add the chat field. So that we want to make sure that the chat message is part of this particular chat and not some other chat. And again, we want to order by the most recent chat message first. So We'll order by timestamp descending. Once again, collection create index, and we're done. We have chat in our app, and we're ready to go.